Check one, two. Hello, check, check, one, two. Check, 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 one, two. Check, check, check. Cool. I'll see you later. Have a good day. Hey, welcome to the program. It's the Ron Van Dam Show. I'm the person to whom it refers to. It's been a long time since I've uh, done a show in this particular studio. It's I, I sh <laughs> It was funny. At a point, uh, the question came to me, should I, after a number of years, come back and, and do this particular television version of the radio show? And the clear answer was no. So here I am. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, this, uh, this show, if you're not familiar with it or you don't have a memory that goes that far back, uh, I, do, I do radio. I've been doing radio for over 30 years. Yes, I have seen a therapist about that. Actually, I haven't. Uh, I've been doing it for over 30 years on terrestrial radio and also uh, the, the podcast thing. If you're interested, it is the Ron Van Dam Show. I can be heard on NewEnglandBroadcasting.com. On all those crazy platforms, I'm on uh, Amazon Music and uh, Apple Podcasts and Stitcher and iHeartRadio and TuneIn Radio and a couple of radio stations and things like that. So uh, that's the background. Actually, that's the background back there. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're safe and wonderful, and uh, I hope to be with you on a weekly basis. Should you allow me to come into your home, which I warn you is not a great idea on your part, but whatever, we're all adults here. <laughs> you know, on the way over, I was, uh, I was watching people walk down the street. I do that every once in a while. And, you know, things were different than when I was growing up, quite obviously. It's, it's interesting to me how everybody's walking around now with a, with a little bottle of water. It, it's it, that that didn't happen when I was growing up. We we didn't drink water unless it was out of the hose in the backyard. Otherwise, we just didn't drink water. It was not part of the deal. Uh, but now it's it's like if you don't have a bottle of water with you, then you're off of life support. I I, I don't know what happened. Uh, uh, I, I think we're actually over hydrating. We don't. <laughs> by the way, we don't drink water anymore. We hydrate feel like a house plant actually uh, but everybody's walking around with a bottle of water and if you just see if you step back this is what I do this is this is what I do if you step back and you just look at things you'll say to yourself that makes no sense even worse and, and if, if you don't have the bottle of water then of course you may have that that little canister thing you know you can get them for free when you donate to people uh, they it, it keeps the water cold. The people are walking around with with that. I don't even know what those things are called, but nobody goes anywhere without <laughs> without without a bottle of water. It's it's so odd, and I think this came from our coffee obsession, because in the mornings and many times in the afternoon, people are walking around with with coffee. Now they're not coffee cups. They are the styrofoam cups, which is probably great for the environment. And people are walking around with, with coffee, and they're doing their stuff, holding coffee, drinking coffee, drinking water. I mean, so much is, it's, a, it's amazing people aren't, aren't urinating every 10 minutes. Which, by the way, at a certain age, at night, that occurs. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. I, I, I notice things that, that kind of don't make any sense. There's a gas station in uh, the area in which I live. And uh, I go there because the gas is a little bit cheaper. It's a, see, that's another thing. We, sh we shop around for, for gas for our cars. And <laughs> if, if we see a gas station selling gas like for $2.93... And then across the street is a gas station selling gas for $2.94. We'll go to the one for $2.93, no matter how inconvenient it may be. 
I know people that drive like for 10 miles to save three cents on a gallon of gasoline. If you think about it, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Actually, we pay exorbitant amount of money for everything, including gas, but for some reason the dollar... <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. It's just, a, it's, it's, it's odd. So I go to this particular gas station. It's the, it's the Irving gas station. They've named this gas station after a guy named Irving. I don't expect gas stations to be called Irving for some reason. It just, I never thought that would happen. I'm thinking of the brand names like Mobil, uh, Sunoco, those kinds of things. I never thought that I'd be getting gasoline from an Irving station. Where do you get your gas? From Irving. Irving's got the gas. Actually, it sounds like a condition that a guy named Irving has. Irving's got, got a lot of gas. I know. I know. I fill up on him. He's a few pennies cheaper. So there's, a, there's an Irving station. And I, and I like it because the pumps are clean, which makes no sense either. And there is that, uh, you know, you, don't, you can't have gas stations anymore unless you have a convenience store attached to it. So we can buy the bottles of water, right? <laughs> and the coffee. Uh, there's a big sign in, in front of the uh, the Irving gas station, and uh, and it says uh, lobster rolls. Uh, I, I think it's like nineteen well I don't know, nineteen dollars or twenty three dollars for a lobster. Roll. It's a hot dog roll with lobster in it. If you get two of them, you can save a little bit of money and get your car washed or something like that. But I I just I I found it fast. I just sat there and I looked at the sign. I found it fascinating, and I and I was watching for people to walk into the gas station and leave with a with a lobster roll. It's just, what, what are you doing? It's a gas station. Lobster rolls coming out of a gas station? That's that's just wrong. From from Irving. So it's a lot to tolerate. It's, uh, it's a lot to tolerate. Have you found, uh, by the way, this is, the whole show is going to be like this. So just to let you know, it doesn't get any better. Could get worse. Don't know. Oh, it's good to be back, huh? Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, I know I'm not a school committee meeting, and I apologize for that. Anyway, uh, I have found uh, that I can tell how old I'm getting by the amount of noise that I make. Yeah, it's, it's true. Uh, I don't know if this happens to you, but... There was a time in my life where if I saw a penny or a nickel or something on the floor, I would bend over, pick it up, and that would be it. I'd keep on moving. Now I have to go through a, a complete analysis. Is that worth picking up? I, it's, it's a long way down there. Here's how I know how old I'm getting. Uh, when, I, when I started getting a little bit older, when I picked things up off the floor, I would, I would make a small noise such as that would accompany my my reach to the floor uh it would be something like Ugh. now uh when i reach to pick up something off the floor i i'm making tremendous amounts of noise in order to compensate for pain that really never occurs but am i anticipating it so i will this is what i sound like when i bend something uh, when i bend down to pick something off the floor No, I'm all right. I'm okay. I was just demonstrating. Yeah, that's how you know. A couple of days ago, and this is true, ev everything I say is true except for the stuff that's not, which is a lot of that too. Uh, yesterday, all of a sudden, I was, I was sitting on the couch watching TV, and, and that's apparently I do that very well. So I'm watching TV, and all of a sudden, uh, I go, ow! And, and, I, and my, my finger hurts. My I guess I... I for some reason, my finger moved, and, and, and it hurt me, and I, and I actually uh, made a, uh, a, an exclamation. And then I, I said to myself, well, well, this is another indication that I'm getting old. For no reason whatsoever, I did nothing. I sat there. I was watching TV. I wasn't moving around. I wasn't exercising. I wasn't drinking water out of a bottle. Nothing. All of a sudden, for no reason whatsoever... My finger just decided to hurt, and it was a little sharp pain. 
It stayed there for about maybe half an hour, and then it went away. And I, I, <laughs> I, I get that every once in a while now. Sometimes I'll just move, move back, and my shoulder will hurt for, for no reason. I didn't do anything. Did I say something wrong? Did I, did, I, did I make a move that upset somebody? Why is my shoulder hurting? I have a, I have a physical uh, once a year, and then uh, what my doctor calls a follow-up. Every six months after the physical, they follow up to see if I'm still alive, basically. I think the follow-up is really called, we're running a little short on cash here at the clinic. I need you to come in a little more frequently so I can put my kids through college. I think it's more that. Because every time when I go in for the follow-up, the question uh, that the doctor says to me is, uh, well, how you been feeling? I'm great. Okay. And then uh, it's over. It's, it's the follow-up. So I say to the doctor, you know, uh, to be honest with you, uh, I woke up one morning and my shoulder hurt. And, uh, well, does it still hurt? No, it went away after about like six weeks or something like that. Uh, and, and the doctor just just said to me, and, and diagnosed it immediately, said, I know exactly what that is. I said, what is it? Now you, you're getting old. Thank you very much. What is there a charge for that uh, through my health insurance, your diagnosis that I'm just getting old? I actually, uh, I wouldn't say I love my doctor because that would be a little awkward. Um, there are no feelings involved. Uh I just, I just don't know. I, I, I don't understand the point sometimes. I, I think they just have me come in just to make sure that their product is, is, is still alive. <laughs> Ron, you know, we really care about you here at the medical office. Um, why don't you come back like tomorrow? And, you know, if, if anyway, that's fine. That's fine. I got an email uh, just this morning. The email was from uh, Staples. They've named an, an entire office supply store uh, after just uh, a staple. For some reason, I I don't know. They could have called it pencils, but they didn't. They called it Staples. I don't know why. Did you know they have a lot more than Staples there? I thought it was a specialty store at first. We're out of paper. Can you run down to Staples? Well, stupid. They don't sell paper there. Just Staples. What do you think that's named for? No, Ron. They say it's office supply store. Oh, oh, oh. They sell more than Staples. Then that's bad name branding. So Staples sends me an email because recently, about two weeks ago, I went into Staples, and. <laughs> I bought uh, computer ink. I have an HP uh, printer. The ink costs more than the printer did originally. I cannot figure out how that's possible. There's a printer. It takes pictures of things. It's a machine. It's computerized. And yet, it costs less than one cartridge of ink. <laughs> it makes... No sense. I don't know where they get this computer ink from. Is it the, the, the depths of, of the ocean? Is, is, it, is it mined in, in, the, in the Himalayan mountains, the only place that you can find computer ink? Why, why is this stuff so damn expensive? It's not like I'm buying a tub of it. I'm buying a little tiny, this is, it's, I don't know, it's like half an ounce or something. And that's like 50 or 60 bucks. It makes no sense. Anyway, uh, Staples in the email, and by the way, don't ever ask me to do anything like this. You're in for trouble. Staples wanted me to write a review on my recent purchase of the HP computer ink. And... <laughs> And I, I obliged. I actually actually wrote a review. And it pretty much went like this. Um, is it printer ink? Yes. Does it print stuff? 
Yes. Do I have a choice if I buy this or not? No. And that was my review. And <laughs> at the bottom, it said, rate it. Would you, would you, <laughs> would you recommend Computer Inc. Uh, from Staples to your friends? And, and my <laughs> answer was, if I had friends, I would say, sure. I, you know, I, I, what are you supposed to do? You buy a printer. It only takes this certain type of cartridge. You can't use the printer without printing ink. I'm a little bit stuck here. <sighs> Don't ask me to review something. Do not ask me to review anything. I will give you an honest review, and it, it won't be pretty. It will not be pretty. All right, let me check and see how much time we have left because uh, I'm paid by the minute. Actually, no, I'm not even that. <laughs> how are you, by the way? Excuse me for talking uh, about myself for 15 minutes now, and I didn't even ask you anything. Oh, important. This is a, uh, this is a postcard that I got from uh, the water department, the uh, water, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble speaking, from the water department in the town in which I live. You know what I mean? I don't want to name the town because I want to keep it, like, anonymous. So the town in which I live, uh, they, they give me this, uh, this postcard, and it says, basically, it's, uh, it's that the water in which I drink from the town uh, is not good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it does not meet the uh, requirements of the state nor of the human race. Uh, apparently, there's too many uh, PFAS6. And you know, if you have a PFA6, uh, PFA5-6, whatever um you, you don't want those things you, you don't want a high count of those you don't want a high count of those. <laughs> i have no idea what the hell they're talking about the bottom line is they're they're telling me in this postcard and, and tell me if i'm getting this wrong that the drinking water uh which comes out of my my tap uh all the water uh that i that i get here uh, the drinking water in this particular town uh is uh does not meet the standards it doesn't say, and if you drink it, you will die. It doesn't say that. Uh, maybe because they couldn't fit that on the card. It's, it's not safe to drink, but it's safe to drink. They have a phone number where you can call, and they will tell you uh, where things stand as far as the water is concerned. I called the person. A very, very nice woman answered the phone. She said, uh, the drinking water in, in your particular town does not meet the standards of drinking water, and I said, well, will it help if I boil the water? Will that make it uh, usable? She said, no. I said, well, what about filters, water filters, and things like that? No. And uh, it, she didn't say this, but I thought the next line was going to be, I'm sorry, but you're screwed. I'm, she didn't say that, but that was what I got from it. Now, don't be alarmed. Uh, the water uh, is probably okay. They didn't, uh, they didn't say don't drink it at all. They didn't say that. They just said by the standards and by the quality uh, testing, um, there are too much PFSAs SSAs in there, PSATs. There are too many of those in there. Uh, so I said, well, what's the resolve here? What's the resolve? Should we all walk around with bottles of drinking water? That would be crazy. What's the resolve? She says, well, we're, we're, we're building a, uh, a plant. Okay, sounds good. We're building a, a facility so that the uh, water uh, can be purified to meet uh, water standards for the state in which you live. And I said, okay, um, when will this facility be built? Will it be perhaps within my lifetime? And she said, it's actually under construction now. Um, we don't know uh, how long, but it would, might be a year or two. I said, okay, fine. I still don't know what to do. 
Um, you see, let me explain something to you, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Uh, everything that we consume every day has the ability to make us sick. Uh, even the things that have met the standards uh, can basically make us very sick and kill us. If you eat a multitude of hot dogs, like Joey Chestnut, is that the name of the guy, or Chestwood or something? He, he broke the record for eating hot dogs uh, uh, at Coney Island or something like that. He's still alive. I don't know how. That can kill you. If you eat uh, fast food every day of your life, uh, I have a friend who passed away from that, got a heart attack, um, opened my eyes, closed his. We do things that people are still smoking cigarettes. Uh, we do things every day. The air that we, some people live like, uh, like right on their backyards or, or right off of a, a highway. I mean, we do things that are pretty chancy. The air that we breathe, certainly in some cities and some towns, the air from forest fires, whatever the case may be, um, not safe, not safe either. So am I concerned about the drinking water? Yeah. But I do realize that we take chances every day with everything that we do. There's a, there's a gas that comes out of the ground called radon. You familiar with this? It's not discussed a lot. It's a natural gas that comes out of uh, the ground. Many houses are built uh, on the ground where radon comes up through your basement. If your radon reading is more than like three or something, uh, you could become very, very sick, and it's like that's really not good, and you need to mitigate it with a, uh, a pipe and a, and a fan that blows the radon gas up out of your basement. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> Massachusetts, this particular state of Massachusetts, uh, doesn't require these tests to be done when you're buying a home. It's not a part of a home inspection unless you happen to request it to be a part. It can be quite sickly, especially to children who are developing their lungs and their organs. Not discussed a lot, but it's there, but it's true. There are a huge percentage of houses, possibly yours, where the radon levels in your home are like through the roof, and that's not a pun. So, am I concerned about the water? Yeah. Is it being taken care of and mitigated? Yeah. You see, this show is more than just a uh, sarcastic program. I also try to try to educate you <laughs> in a very odd manner. Uh, I, I'm still, uh, you know, whenever there's a, I'm changing subjects now, by the way, whenever there's a, uh, a holiday that falls on a Monday, some kind of federal national holiday on a Monday, it screws me up for weeks. It really does. I don't know what day of the week it is. Um, it's, it's difficult for me. Uh, Monday holidays the, the Tuesday after that feels like a Monday, but it's not. It's a Tuesday. And the Wednesday feels like a, a Thursday, but it's a Friday. It, it just screws me up completely. Uh, if, if you're getting married during a week where a federal holiday, national holiday, falls on a Monday, that does that mean that your wedding date is moved w on a one-day delay? I, I, I don't I don't know I don't know I do know but I don't know we're only uh, we're only like a couple of months away from the end of the year and that's pretty scary because this stuff is moving really fast now I think the earth started spinning a little bit faster than normal I think the climate change or global warming or whatever you want to call it not only is destroying the planet very slowly, 
but it's also making the Earth spin faster, which should not be good. Uh, and according to Einstein, that means that things are happening way too quickly. Except for me sitting doing this show, it seems like it never ends. So I guess it depends on what, you, what you're doing. Hello. All right, fine. Let's let take a look at this real quick. I'm going to uh, end the show uh, with a poignant observation. There's uh, uh, all right. We walk around with water bottles. We walk around with uh, with styrofoam uh, coffee cups, and we walk around with cell phones. Okay, these are the three items which are always on our person at all at all times. There's an app on my cell phone which I found fascinating, and I think it's used on TikTok. Um, is, is that is that like is that a game TikTok toe? Or is that different? I'm. You can tell by looking at me, my age is not like twelve, so I'm not up on all this stuff. But there is an app on my cell phone, and I, I don't know what it's called. I think it's face to face or face this or. You, you, you are a faceless person. I don't know the name of the app. But apparently you take a selfie, which is quite self-indulgent actually. You take a selfie of yourself and then you run it through this app and it contorts your face to make you look wonderful. It, it, clear, it takes your wrinkles off. It, it, it does something to your face. You don't, look, you don't look like a different person or anything. You don't look uh, older or younger or anything like that. But you look fantastic. It, this, this app takes you. And they use this, apparently people use this for online dating. So that it's still you, but you look fantastic. You look really appealing, even to yourself. And <laughs> I tried this. I actually looked really good. But then I got depressed because I realized that's how good I can look but I never will look like that, and now it's depressing. <laughs> now now the app trying to make me feel good is totally depressing me by pointing out you could look like that, but you don't. And if you meet anybody online and then you meet them physically in person, the response from the other person, even though they may not say it, would be, you don't look like your picture. You do, but you don't. Can you, like, look like that picture a little bit more? No, no, because that is not me. That was a contorted, I've been photoshopped. Oh, my God, I've been photoshopped. And that's a good thing. Until you face reality, then it's a bad thing. You see, ladies and gentlemen of the jury once again before you deliberate or review this show on the Staples <laughs> on the Staples app uh, you must realize there's a difference between fantasy and reality and I think that we've really started to lose that difference the two have melded into each other where fantasy and reality are the same thing, but they're not. Because someday you're going to wake up and you're going to realize reality is something really different. Keep that in mind. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I'll be back again uh, with another show and probably another week. I really don't know. But thank you for allowing me into your homes when you weren't looking, I went into your refrigerator and I ate all the chicken. I apologize, but it was damn tasty. You can uh, listen to me on all of those platforms, the Ron Van Dam Show, NewEnglandBroadcasting.com, or all of those other things and some selected radio stations. Thank you so much for your time. I wish you peace. <laughs>